We're back at Victoria Road on Sunday and with another win away from home at the weekend. Is the aim now to put an end to the bad streak at home? Yes, to back up the uh, away performances, we've had three uh, straight away wins. Um, it's to try and turn them performances we've been putting in at home into victories now. You know, we, we felt like we did a lot of things right against Oli on Moors, but we didn't get the result because they was clinical in, in the chances they got and we wasn't. So, yeah, the level of performance we want to keep the same, but obviously hoping to get the victory as well in front of our own fans. Last week we had no new players return from injury. Has that changed over the course of this week now? Uh, yes, I think so. I think it's going to be pretty much the, the same squad we're going with as well. We had a few boys that were, uh, didn't train the early part of the week leading into the Essex Senior Cup game. But um, speaking as of today, back out on the, the pitch was the majority of the boys that was involved the weekend before. Um, so I imagine we're going to have perhaps the same squad as we had last weekend. Maybe with a few more added into it, but we're going to have to touch and go in the next 24 hours to see if that's the case. Any updates on the like of on the likes of Ryan Hill or anything like that? Um, just that he was really close to being back involved before um, leading into the last couple of games. We had had a little bit of a setback, nothing major, but just had to rein him a little bit back in. He was <coughs> so enthusiastic to try and get back out there. Um, probably might have gone just a little bit too early, but not, like I said last week, I think um, that aim would be to see if he's available after we've got a little bit of a break now from this Rochdale game to the next set of games we have. So for a few of the boys, not just Hilly, but for a few of the boys to be back and involved in the round of games. Uh, we faced Basildon in the Essex Senior Cup on Tuesday, as you mentioned earlier, with a lot of players getting gaining much needed fitness. What were the main takeaways from that? We wanted to, I said it on Saturday after the game, but we wanted to treat the competition with really a respect it deserved. We realised that, um, that Basildon had won some like nine straight games. Um, we've got some young boys that are training with us each day that need help. Um, the younger group beyond that, which play on a Wednesday, we're being quite honest right now, would not be good enough to go and play in that fixture. It would be a tough game for them. I see that um, Hornchurch played their younger boys against Hashtag and they, they lost quite heavily, so that would have probably happened twice as well, which I didn't want that to happen. Um, felt like some boys needed some minutes to, to top up, and um, I, I just want to. You know, to go to Basel and with a group, if anyone that was available to play played, whether it started and coming off in the game or was involved in the game, everyone else was there watching. Um, and it, it actually brought up some really good things. The young boys done really well. Boys got minutes that they needed and the uh, togetherness and the team spirit of having all the rest of the senior boys there helping, especially for the younger lads. That I think they loved it, the feeling after the game coming back in and getting the, the pat on the back on the wall to putting in a good performance. So all in all, it was a really good night for the football club, um, for the younger boys and the boys that needed minutes and then ready to go through to the next round. On to Saturday, Rochdale are currently on a pretty good run of form of late, having won three of their last four, including a 3-0 victory over Altrincham on Tuesday. What sort of threats do they pose? Uh, they're, they're playing a very good, fluid passing style. Um, you know, come down from being a football league team, so they've still got very talented players that were playing for them in the football league. Added some boys to that as well. Um, like you said, they've had some really good victories. You know, I watched the, the game they had against Aldershot last weekend. I've managed to watch the Aldershot game as well, and we watched the game that they had away at Woodstone as well. So we've, look, we've seen plenty of them. Know the threats that they certainly have. Know the qualities that they have as a group. Um, like I'm saying, they're playing some really, really good football. Uh, up there with the best in the league, um, but at the same time, knowing that you know every team that we play against, obviously we can try and impact our style on them as well. So yeah, full respect for the job they're going, but ready to for the game of football.